Good evening, everybody. It is 10 or 9.30 p.m. Temperature's dropping quick. We're gonna drive up in higher elevation to find some snow. Oh yeah, I love you guys. And then also, just real quick, I wanted to show you guys the invoice for the beanies. So hang on a second. Because I want you guys to see, it's not like I'm trying to make a bunch of money off you guys. There's 96 beanies plus the logos plus shipping. So every beanie plus the shipping and stuff, it's just about 30, about 31, 32 bucks or something like that. And I'm charging 70 bucks and then obviously 10 bucks for the shipping. To the first person I shipped, I shipped five of them to today and it was 27 bucks. So if it happens to be more than 10 bucks, do not worry you guys, because that's all I'm charging. But I'm not trying to make a fortune, you guys, for Pete's sakes. Like, I want everyone to have some badass stuff. I hope you can see those numbers. I want everyone to have badass stuff. Hang on, just real quick. Let me just make sure that both sides are getting seen here. That's page one. And then page two. Hang on. I apologize. I know this isn't the best. 2,609 dollars. All right, so just wanted you guys to see that because I never want you guys to feel like I'm trying to take advantage of you, not at all. I'm gonna make a couple bucks and you guys are gonna get to literally, I swear, it, take the beanie in to like Nordstrom's and ask them what they charge for that specific beanie. In a quarter mile, like that turn left onto Elm Street. I promise Street. you guys will trip out. It'll be over 200 bucks. So it was really important for me to show you guys because I don't want you guys getting mad at me thinking I'm trying to like take advantage of you because I'm not. Like not at all. With as many subscribers, I'm sure I could sell them turn all. Turn left like onto Elm Street, each, then turn right onto Cougar Road. I'm happy and super stoked. And I promise you guys, when you get these beanies, you will be beyond happy. They are ridiculous. Turn right onto Cougar Road, then keep left. Hang on a second. All right, so we're gonna take some of these back streets here, so we can keep our left onto Cougar now. Road. But it's gonna get closer and closer, to turning to In snow. one mile, turn right onto McAllister Road. And we are gonna go up to a higher elevation because I want to catch the first snow before it hits town. Because I freaking love you guys. Just to prove to you guys that it's coming. I've been getting a lot of messages saying that it's not going to snow, it's going to be raining all day tomorrow. But I'd be willing to put my channel on the line and say that I hope they're wrong. <laughs> I hope they're wrong. Oops, turn off my brights here. But seriously, once it starts snowing, it's going to be so much prettier. I mean, doesn't that kind of look like snow right now, but it's just really heavy rain. Guys, we would have way over two feet of snow today. This this would have been one of the biggest snowfall days we've ever had in the history of Big Bear, I guarantee you, for a one day total. If all of this heavy rain was snow, because it's been heavy rain all day long, which is fantastic for the lake. Just fantastic for the lake. Yeah, you guys, hang tight, just a uh, quick second. Yeah, there we go. I want to make sure I can see the name of it. Let me stick my hand out the window just to make sure this isn't snow. I guess since we're driving fast, it feels kind of hard, but it's not. Turn it right snow. onto McAllister Road. Do not think it was snow. to turn off the brights because we have these cars ahead of us. But the brights we use with these storms so you can see how heavy it's coming down. Alright. At the stop the sign, again. turn right onto Sukapine on, Road. Okay, guys. Then turn left onto Pine. Okay, sorry about that. I had to see the phone call. 
onto Pinewood okay, Drive, to then that. turn right onto Ridgeside Drive. Hang tight, you guys, okay? I think I'm going to go through a bad service area here. Hang tight. All right, guys, so it's 35 degrees. It's going to start turning to snow here real quick. I want to make sure that we can be part of the, the changeover. Wearing my new beanie. Wearing the new awesome beanie. Guys, it's the most comfortable beanie ever. I swear, those of you who have spent money on, like, the Gucci beanies, like, People like me who are dumb and waste money like that, like when I used to have money like that, I'm telling you, it's the same thing. There's nothing different. It just doesn't say Gucci on it. It says Big Bear Weather and More on, with a leather patch. So it's not even a Gucci embroidery. It's actually a leather patch. It's so nice, you guys. And I don't know where the heck I'm going, but we're doing a little Christmas light drive here. Ashwood, I know where we're at now. Ashwood, Dashwood. I was gonna say a dirty joke that involved the word word, but I won't say it because I'm more grown up than that. Or maybe not. But yeah, guys, we're picking up my friend Charlene. She's been a real support through what I've been going through lately. She's been an absolute blessing. I don't know what I would do without her. So I told her I want her to come cruise along for one of these rides with us. And we're gonna find snow together. Oh my gosh, guys, it's coming. It's, it's getting close. I promise you, it's getting close. thing is that Char lives all the way on the other side of town, kind of where we're headed. We're going to drive up to Onyx Summit, you guys. Can you believe that? The things I do for you guys. But I think you'll enjoy it. I wish we didn't have to drive behind uh, these cars because I want to have my brights on the whole time. Maybe they'll turn off soon. Who knows? Nice puddle, let's get that one. Yeah. Oops, this guy is turning, so that's awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Okay, we can turn on the brights just for a split second. As you guys know, always the weather seems like it's lesser out this direction, but we are going to be driving along the mountainside to get up to Onyx Summit. So hopefully, we'll be getting into some snow. Look at the temperature, you guys. We're getting there. 35. Number 25. Stay alive, number 25. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen it rain this much since I lived here. Holy crud. I'm not kidding. I really don't think I've ever seen it rain this much. If this was all snow all day, we'd have two and a half feet at least. As I said, this, this would have been a record-breaking day worth of snow in Big Bear. I can almost guarantee you that. For a 24-hour period or less, yeah, I'm excited to see the time lapse. Obviously, I started it this morning and it's going to go through Christmas. It's going to be a longer time lapse, you guys, probably like 15 to 20 minutes. But it'll have that nice music in the background. I'm sorry it's going to be so long, but it'll be cool because you'll get to see some really heavy snow coming down and then nice blue skies and then the next storm rolling in. It should be pretty interesting, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Down the window. I'm a little bit hot. I'm a little bit hot up in this mug. Man named Nicholas. 
who was living in Big Bear with lots of rain. Wants the snow to come soon, but it won't. It's just a damn monsoon. Driving down Highway Big Bear Boulevard. Going to pick up Charlene for this ride. It'll be loads of fun. I can tell you. I'm excited as you can hear. But now here's a story of not too happy Nick. Because the temperature went from 35 to 36. But I promise you guys, once we get up towards Onyx Summit, it's going to be snowing. And I don't want to ask Shar to hold the phone during parts of that, but I might. So I can really focus on the road. But I've been doing this fine this whole time, you know. I'm not going to put people's lives in jeopardy. I'm just not going to do it. Oh, look at this puddle. What? What? contacts for the first time in a long time. I was only wearing them when I was golfing. Because I hated wearing glasses while on the golf course, but I wear my contacts now. Okay, so now we're on Highway 38, you guys. This is another one of the big in and outs of town. From this point on, there's no gas for like 45 miles or something like that. That's exactly 45 miles. But that doesn't matter. We're just going to the summit at 8,443 feet. And don't forget, it's 36 degrees right now and we're gonna be climbing another, what is, what is it, about 1,500 feet. We'll definitely be in freezing territory and we will definitely have snow. Obviously not gonna record where she lives, but we're gonna go into the neighborhood. I don't think I've ever driven in this neighborhood on these videos before in all the seven and a half years I've been doing this. So I'm excited about it. Just a little bit bummed out we can't have the brights on right now. And there better not be chain checkpoints up here because of the snow coming. Oh, it's 37 degrees now. Unbelievable. Don't do this to me. Not do this to me. I am finding snow right now, whether you like it or not, Mother Nature. You have jacked me around too much. We are going to find the snow. Years ago, that would have been calling somebody. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe not. Oh, man. Hang on a second. I need to put a, a chew in my mouth. It's just nicotine. It's, it's not like a chewing tobacco. It's just nicotine pouches. Hang on. All right, guys. I'm sorry about the view being so crappy, but it's raining like crazy here. And then I'm going to have to turn it off for a second to get her call to let her know we're here. So we're turning on this street called Mitchell Lane. This is the last street, basically, until you exit town. If you turn left, you go into Irwin Lake. And as a matter of fact, one of you guys wanted me to drive by your place in Irwin, so I think we're going to do that just real quick on the way up. Hang on, let me let her know I'm right here. So yeah, we're going to the very end here of Mitchell. This is a really cool little neighborhood because it's so far from everything. But out of privacy, we're gonna turn it off right here for a moment. All right, Eden. And obviously, you're a lady, so we don't curse on this channel. Left, 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 left. Just test it. I just want to make sure you know where you live. All right, guys, she knows where she lives. You guys want to say hi to Char? 
that is my best one of my best friends in the whole wide world Hi. who has been taking care of me so good through what I'm going through lately and I couldn't be more grateful seriously you guys like seriously it's been I know what I'm going from here passenger sleep driver <laughs> so yeah this is a beautiful part of town you guys this is a very quiet part of town I mean, the only issue that I would have is that you gotta drive all the way across town to get to the stores, but in a way it's nice that there's not a whole bunch of traffic over here. And it's just really quiet. A bunch of cute homes over here. It's a nice place. How do you like it over here? She's got a beautiful house over here. Very nice house. I've seen it from the outside. And I've seen pictures from the inside. What are the doggies doing? Sitting on my desk. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Something bad. All right, so guys, look, Kevin Ferguson. You said you lived in Irwin. I was gonna drive right across here because I wanted to go by your house and I can't find your freaking message. So I'm like distraught. I just spent 10 minutes parked trying to find it. So tomorrow during the snow, I promise if you respond, if you're watching this video this far, if you respond, um, please let me know your address again or where, or where it was so I, can, uh, so I can go by there for you. Okay guys, 36 degrees. Oops, right up there for you, buddy. And I can guarantee you guys, by the time we get to Onyx Summit, it will be snowing. Guarantee. up here. Char is one of the hardest working, most clean people. What's your job called? Five Star Resort Cleaner. Five Star Resort Cleaner. Um, guarantee you guys would be super happy with her services. I would never lead you guys astray and I would really suggest that you at least give her a chance. If you think she does a crappy job, I'll pay. That's how good she is, you guys. She actually cares. And it's really nice because she does a great job. She's even shown me pictures and stuff like that. Like she does a really good job. She has to deal with some places that have like like mice and rats sometimes and, and, and she still does it. So but I mean she she gets in between the nooks and crannies and everything. She works really hard and she deserves what she gets. You're welcome. It's the truth.
have sirens on my car, but I would never, ever, 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 ever do that. Less mountains to fall off of. This is crazy. This doesn't. This happens occasionally. Yeah, this happens. Like, yeah, this isn't always slushy like this. But the reason why we're we're sliding around a lot is because it is 34 and it's it's just a slush. If it was colder and snowing, it'd be a lot easier. And as a matter of fact, I think we are getting. Some, no, they can't stop. They better not stop. They're looking in trouble. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go around them eventually here. I'm not trying to be rude, of course.
guys, at least on this long stretch. That's a cool light on that car. I told you guys we'd find snow. And it is 34 degrees. I think snowing. Martin showed us, and it is snowing now. Is that snow? It looks like it. Once we can get yeah, our, it's once, once we can get our brights on. like this do not feel uncomfortable to drive the speed this guy's driving when you have a chance to pull out to let faster traffic by do that but do not try to speed up to appease us because that's when you'll be in a lot of danger because that's the kind of driver I am I'm a considerate person I don't want to hold people up and stuff like that and uh, yeah that, that can be a big problem when you end up speeding up to try to be nice for other people I get a clear, clear sight of a free passing area. Not passing. Yeah, guys, getting into the snowstorm. Look at how beautiful the road looks, you guys. Through the camera, it looks really nice too. other people. Oops, hey there. Yeah, the slush is not good. The slush is no fun. Yeah, and that, yeah, that poor truck. You'd think that truck would make it, no problem. You know what, I'm kind of enjoying this guy driving a little bit slow, so I don't have to feel, uh, you know, like I'm putting any of us in danger. And we're only going up to the summit and then we're turning around. Thankfully there's not much traffic now, so at least it'll be a pretty good drive down. 33 guys. Temperature is falling and we are getting snow. I can feel it outside, it's snowing. So on this next straightaway, not advisable you guys to stop in the middle of the lane but I understand there. thank you thank you thank you guys all right here we go look at it snowing guys and it's just us wow this is pretty gnarly I want it to get a little bit colder damn it I'm gonna have to turn off my lights again it gets a little bit colder the road's gonna be easier to drive on but it's like that super slushy wet stuff. If you guys see me struggling like this, no, it's not easy. Just really understand this is not easy. And take up as much of the road as you can when there's no traffic coming in your other direction because if you do slide one direction, you wanna be able to, you'll, you'll have plenty of room to kind of recorrect. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. And don't use short parking brake. What's up? Don't use short parking brake to the tickets now. What do you mean? That's what I mean. Okay. Like when you're just parked? Uh -huh. Oh, because if it slides on the ice? Your parking brake. Yeah. But yeah, it's people like usually won't use that while they're driving. They usually use it while they're parked, right? Yeah. And my dad did that in folks that we were going down, going down the street. Right the no way. Because he, because he had the E1 
you break on? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, That, that would have any issue. That's that, that's good to know. That's good to know. I thought you meant like people were driving like idiots no, using no, their no, e-brake no, just no. driving. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're at Onyx Summit. This is the the maximum we're going. This is 8,443 feet. And we're just gonna hang up here for a minute. These guys are playing in the snow. Or no, no, they're not. They're putting on chains. Look at how beautiful this looks. Oh man. Take a little snapshot of that. Guys, it is so beautiful out here. Man, so peaceful. The temperature's 33. I told you it would be 29 when we got up here, but it's not. But it's 33 and snowing pretty good. I could have beat all that traffic. But we're in no rush, right, Char? Mm -hmm. We have way too much precious cargo in the car. Yeah, my coach bag is expensive. <laughs> I can't see it. Well, that's okay. I just don't want to mess with these guys. I kind of want to do, uh, do a couple spin outs, but. Can you see any good pictures? Out that way? Mm -hmm. Not with this because it's too dark, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I wish you guys could see. There's a lot of snow up here, you guys. Hey, there is a lot of snow up here. And it's coming down our way. I can't show off. Let me put the lights off. And yes, it's a wet snow. Yeah, it's a very yeah, it's a very wet snow. We tend to get really wet snow in Southern California when we get snow. Okay, so that's 8,443 feet. That's Onyx Summit. And now we're headed back down. We're not gonna have to deal with this for too long, but at least we got to get into some pretty good snow, you guys. And this is all headed our direction. Seriously, Shar, thanks for cruising. I appreciate no it. Okay. Just send me that picture. I definitely will. I definitely will. If I was really, really nervous, we'd be in X mode right now. I am a bit nervous, but not life threatening nervous at all. Especially because we got all these people going so slow, so that's good for us. It makes me seem like a good driver. you guys we would find snow I promised you guys we would and we did that's not too cold for you is it no okay it feels so good let's see if you get cold let me know okay. alright is that same car that pulled over in front of us a little bit ago no isn't this him? Is, yeah, that's him right there. Because he pulled in front of these guys. Wow, there's a bunch of people putting on change right now, guys.
got Tiptronic. It's awesome. Yeah. I've shifted from my steering wheel. That's your mom's sister. No, my dear. My mom's sister. And since it's becoming more of a snow instead of a mix, the windshield wipers are getting a little bit irritated, so we don't need to have them on as much. like they're rubbing on a dry surface. Seriously, you guys, I wish we could have our brights on though. So you could, so you could see just how from from all this snow up here to how little to no snow we'll be getting into by the time we get back down to 6750 feet. Actually, we'll be get, we'll go by the 7,000 foot sign once we get to the bottom here. 7,000 foot elevation sign. But as I just told you guys, we were just at 8,443 feet. That is the highest road, I, I believe, in the San Bernardino National Forest, the highest part. And this is Highway 38. It's one of the major thoroughfares to get into the San Bernardino National Forest. From Mentone and all those areas. What I worry about is people behind me not knowing what they're doing. into the more of the slushy stuff. It's still 33 degrees, but we're going to stay in the middle of the road as long as we can, guys. That's the safest thing to do. That rattling really sucks, but it won't stop. Like the Miley Cyrus song. It won't stop. You can't stop. I actually like that song. Maybe I should drive off the cliff because I like that song. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I found snow. And I don't think I would have come up here unless my friend Char was with me. That's just because I live on this side of town. And that's because she lives on the side of town. <laughs> <laughs> it does make it easier to pick you up out here. But also, you're... You're good company. Thank you. Yeah. Stay on the road there, Nikki Poo. How do you think Baldwin looks? Empty. I bet there's no snow in Baldwin. Especially back by Highway 18, I bet there's zero snow. Yeah. Yep. That's all going to change, though. That's all going to change. It's gonna take forever to upload, but that's okay. Man, this is dangerous as all hell right now. But I'm not nervous about it at all. I just want you guys watching to know that just because I'm making it look easy, this guy in front of us is making it look easy, please have your tire chains with you and put them on. Your life is way more valuable and you'll have a much better time. You don't wanna have a nightmare up here. Dude, my friend Curtis who left today mm -hmm. in their beautiful, like, extra big Jeep Rubicon, a huge boulder smashed the road right in front of them as they were driving, literally, like, five seconds in front of them. He didn't have time to stop. He had to run through some of the huge freaking pieces, and apparently it was on the news. It was such a huge, huge boulder. If it would have landed on their car, it would have crushed them like a pancake, yeah. and they would have died instantly. I've He's seen some boulders. One of my YouTube fans, their sister, that happened to them. They didn't die, but on, on, on the little Arctic Circle, they let me know through one of the comments that their, their sister or their cousin, they were driving back, and on the little Arctic Circle, a huge rock fell and crushed the whole back of the car. So guys, when we get the really heavy, heavy rain, that's the most dangerous when you're driving in these mountains because it, 
it's, it, it, it erodes the hell out of these hillsides. And there's a lot of these rocks that want to come down. Plus we have the bad burns up here. Plus we have the bad burns up here. That does not help. That makes it way worse and way more prevalent for that to happen. I think we're doing pretty good so far. You guys can see there's less and less snow. In the, I mean, there's still snow in the road, but it's, it's less and less. It's more of a slush, more of a dangerous type of a drive. Yeah, Kevin Ferguson, man, I'm sorry, dude. I wanted to drive into Irwin to go by your house. I think you said it was on Cyprus. You know what? We'll just drive all the way down Cyprus and back and but you know what? It's nighttime. We'll do it during the daytime. But I want you to know that I am thinking of you, bro. Yeah, we got to right there for just for a minute here. Oh, it's just like And then turn it back off. If this guy knew who he was following so close, I'm not trying to be arrogant but it's like, geez, man. You really don't want to follow me this close. I'm trying to set a good example for these people behind us. Save some lives. Actually, the best example would have been for me to not drive up here. <laughs> but, oops, right, my bad. But yes, it is pretty. Pretty damn scary. As I said, guys, the best you can, just as long as you don't see any traffic coming, try and be as close to the center as possible, especially when you are very nervous, because it will give you time to recorrect. Most people overcorrect, though, that's the problem. Because you panic, and it's natural. You start sliding to the right, you swing your wheel to the left, and then you'll start doing donuts. We don't want to do any donuts. We'd like to eat some donuts, though. Oh, that sounds so good. Imagine how much money a Krispy Kreme would make up here. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Dude, hey. Thank you. Making it more fun. Alright. Driving in this weather it like feels like you're on drugs. It's really weird. Is the first show ever can make you feel bad? Are you cold? No. Are you is it making you feel Oh, it's I'm loving it, yeah. I'm loving it. Yes, yes, yes. As you guys can see, we are we are getting out of the snowy road, but it's still a little slushy. Oh, high beams, yeah. Yeah, you better not ever, ever, <laughs> ever do that again. She turned the high beams on, guys. It wasn't me. <laughs> yes. So they know it's not. I'm gonna show them. No beer. My beer. I don't mind if my friends drink because I don't drink beer. This is this is my beer. This is my beer. Yeah, this is my, beer. This is my sprite because uh, I, I quit drinking caffeine. I like syrup. Try that sometime. It's made with. Um, I've had it. I like it. It's made with real sugar. Really? Does it have caffeine? No. Then I think I'm going to have to try it again. And it's less sodium. Which is good for blood pressure. Yes, because someone over here has some serious blood pressure problems. Can you believe that, man? I can't believe all the hospital visits I had. 
pressure on the brights a little bit until we get behind them again. Just so you guys can see, it's turning back into like a, a mix of the rain and snow. And there's no more snow on the road. But with the brights on, it just helps you to see how heavy the precipitation is coming down. This is so cool, man. So if you guys were driving into town right now on Highway 38, this is what it would be like. Not too bad. It's actually not bad at all now, but it, at points, guys, even, even I was getting a little nervous. Not that I would crash, but just the little white knuckle in it. Have you ever like really thought about that? It, it doesn't make any sense because you're still seeing this, the same amount of road. I do that. I do the same thing too. Seriously, I'll be like this, but it makes no sense because you're, you're, you're seeing the exact same thing. <laughs> no, I think it's because we wear glasses and we cheat every once in a while. That could be it. That could be it. <laughs> I'm not wearing glasses. As I said, I put my contacts in for the first time in a long time. Get down to the bottom here. I'm gonna pull aside. Oh, well, you're at the bottom anyway, so we'll pull aside there and I'll put some eye drops in. Too bad you don't live closer. Go in my house, watch a movie, and then bounce to the ounce. But, but your dad's one. Yeah. He was okay with you cruising? Obviously. So guys, right here is where they usually set up the the, the uh, chain checkpoint right here. Right around this corner. Right here they'll have CHP or just Caltrans parked right here. Making sure people have their chains on and whatnot. And or, or if you have your all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. And the what now? The police are there too. And then, yeah, yeah, the police are there a lot too. So guys, it's still 33 degrees. So it was 33 up at the top, 1,500 feet higher than we are right now. But you can see there's no snow anywhere down here. But I promised you guys we would find snow. Obviously, once we get up to your street, we'll shut it off. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, guys, we're back to rain and 35 degrees. But I promised you guys we'd find the snow. And we did. Was I right or was I right? That reminds me of the scene in, uh, in Groundhog's Day. Am I right or am I right? 
<laughs> the insurance salesman guy. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. Oh, okay. So that's why you guys get more snow over here because you're closer to the mountain. I get it. Where it says end? Yeah, you can't get any farther, but you'll see the pipe. Start looking to the right. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see anything. Because there's a house right there, and that right there's the mountains. This is the back side of the mountains right there. There's a trail that takes you over right to Sugarloaf. Like, right through here. Like a car can take it? No. You have to walk oh, through Oh, that's the cool. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The, Guys. The donkeys come through here. The other, the bears, everybody walks through here. This is on the other side of Sugarloaf. The bears. And that's literally the people's backyard over there. Seriously, what a great place. As I said, the only thing that would make it perfect is if there was like a grocery store oh right down goodness, the street. Oh my goodness, a liquor store something. Your liquor store is still far away though, right? Like that that one. Uh, it's either up in Sugar yeah. Loaf or right there at the 38. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Look at how cute these houses are. And so many people are so festive. I love it. It makes me so happy, especially on the left side over here. So you just tell me where to stop, my dear. Keep going right across the street from the house with all the lights on the right. All right. And then we'll let them say bye to you. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. All right. Give me a hug. Good night, everyone. Bye. <clears throat> Call me when you get home. I will. I promise. And thank you again. Can you hold? Yeah. 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 Totally. You take your time, lady. Take your time, woman. <laughs> <laughs> My umbrella doesn't blow away. Well, you're like Mary Poppins, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does. <laughs> Oops. How dare you? Bye. I'll... Bye. I'll see you later. Thank you for cruising. That was fun. I love you, Shar. Love you. Good night. Make sure she gets inside safely. Gonna make sure you get in safely. Thank you. Look at how big her freaking house is. She's so lucky. Oh, good night. Guys, that was so much fun. That was so cool. She didn't have to cruise with us. I'm gonna turn the video off for a minute to put some eye drops in. All right, so now we're headed back. Well, that says 35 degrees. We made it. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. That was pretty hectic, guys. That was the most hectic driving I've had to do this season. It was, uh, like, to be honest, it was it was a little scarier than I was, I was leading on. Um, those are conditions I don't want you guys caught in. Because when you start sliding like that, even with the proper vehicle, that's when the panic really starts to kick in. Because you think, oh, I have all-wheel drive. Oh, I have snow tires. But once again, all the practice that I do, all the empty parking lots, it works out great because I intentionally lose control. So I can regain control. And you'll be very surprised how quickly you'll get a hang of it. It's like when there's more snow, I drive better. In, when, like when it's that type of weather the more snow there is the better I drive and another good tip you guys is a lot of people think that it's good to drive in the tracks of the cars in front of you not a good idea and I'll explain why because that snow is being packed down by all the cars and it turns into ice so you'll be driving on a piece of ice so that's why you want to make your own track so if you're following someone 
kind of move over like two feet or so and then, you know, make your own tracks. But we don't have to make any tracks. There's no snow here. I'm so excited that we found snow. That really makes me happy. Hope it makes you all happy. Back to 36 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised if when we get back to my house we have a little bit of snow falling. We're still on Highway 38, you guys. As I said, we were at the very highest point of this mountain range to drive. And that's the part that can get... It, it, it's either a hit and miss, because that side of the mountain range doesn't get nearly as much snow as, as my side of the mountain range, over at the Big Bear Lake side. But, because of the elevation, sometimes they can get hammered up there and it can be scary. But I still prefer to take that route because driving up from the bottom, there aren't as many cliffs to fall off. Not as many multi-thousand foot drops. Multi-thousand feet drops are not good, you guys. If you fall off the cliff from a few thousand feet, you're gonna have a bad time. If you french fry when you should have pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> I hope you guys got my South Park reference. Man, and I've been holding in this, uh, this toot for so long. I don't like to toot around girls. But, sorry, I know that was kind of rude. I shouldn't have should even mentioned it. I should have just let it go. Just let her fly. Okay, so this is where Highway 38 ends at one point, and you turn left. You see the sign here, it says Big Bear City, one mile. So you want to turn left here. And this is now Big Bear Boulevard. The rain should get heavier the closer we get to my house.
this guy, but I will not pass. Not, not in this area, no way. Only where it's legal. Only where it is legal. But if you guys are driving and you feel like there's someone like me on your butt a little bit, as I said, the worst thing you can do is try and speed up to appease me. That's when you're gonna get yourself into a lot of danger. And so that's why I'm really trying to learn you guys. I've gotten better over the years, okay? Because I don't want anything to happen to you guys. And I know that I have to set a good example. And not doing this drive would have been a good example. <laughs> but we did it and it's beautiful. Back in the pouring rain. But I'm telling you, I can't imagine how much snow we would have if it was all snow today. I mean, I'll go out on a limb and say we, we, we might even have had three feet of snow today. Because I've never seen it rain this heavy for such a long, consistent period of time. The whole time I've lived here, I've never seen anything like it. And I've recorded every storm since I've lived here. So maybe I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I would forget this. There have been some monsoons that have brought some really heavy thunderstorms and it floods everything just briefly and you hit huge puddles like the ones we've been hitting but never seen anything really like this so that's why I'm pretty disappointed because if it was snow we'd be freaking man this, this place would be completely buried they'd probably have all the highways closed coming in and out of town um, but a wonderful thing wonderful thing about all this rain is all this rain goes into the lake when it snows a lot of that snow seeps into the ground as it's melting so this just runs right into the lake and it's beautiful 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 okay we're coming up to division road snow play, but they're closed right now. So you guys know once in a while I get a little road rage and stuff, and I'm, I really am working on it. But one thing that's irritating is in the parts of town where you can't pass, People like this are driving very slow, but then when you can pass, they speed up to the speed limit, if not, go faster. I know it's not my world and everyone's just passing through it type thing, but sometimes I feel like they're doing that on purpose. And I don't like that. I doubt they're doing that on purpose, but I mean, all of a sudden they're speeding up in one of the only parts where I could pass. I'm not saying I could pass. Still, I could. We'll be able to pass here soon because we're coming up to two waves. And over here to the right, up ahead is the lake. We're coming up to the Stanfield Cutoff, which is basically where the lake ends. And then the big beautiful prairie begins. Where the lake ends and the prairie begins. That was George, not so straight, singing there. Oh, he's being nice to get into the, the right. Okay, so he wasn't doing that on purpose, thank you. Thirty-seven degrees, guys. Not the boat here. Had a good ride, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was it was pretty scary at times. So 
So uh, I hope you enjoy it. That's a lot of fun. I love doing this. Look how windy it is right here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Got a lot of wind here. I have a feeling I'm going to be able to take a pretty good nap before it really changes all over the snow here in town. And then we'll be charging around town like it's nobody's business. Okay, we're coming up to Moon Ridge Road here. Happy uh, December 23rd, 2021, and hopefully we get a bunch of snow out of this. Peace out, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything.